ice cisco ice identity service engine so basically uh, cisco ice is security policy management platform is an next solution identity based solution ice allow only authorized user to access your network and your network devices so basically ice is divided mainly in two part identity and another is context identity means who the hell are you which user and device provide me your detail to allowed you in the network and context means provide additional information what where when and how so basically cisco is providing you two main thing identity and context so identity means you have to prove yourself why you are entering in the office who are you in the network they will ask you which user and which device you are you can authenticate by user by device in context means what where when and how what is what where when and how so it's here so if you are entering in the network you need to know who what when where how and if everything is okay compliant then you can go inside who are you what application you want to access when you want to access where you want to access how you gonna access and everything is okay then they can allow you so a good example for identity and context is suppose a user ali so it means who means ali is log into the network and data center where he log in and data center what he use he use vpn client cisco any connect which time 10 am and how he use his window based application so this is called who where what when and how and this all these thing has done by cisco ice this is the duty of cisco ice to provide you cisco ice is also used for secure access management like acs you know cisco has a product now is absolute they call them acs server access control server now is not anymore but cisco acs as a small tool is if you compare them as cisco ice if you put acs is a, a small part of cisco ice acs we use for secure access management and the same thing you can achieve through cisco ice as well basically cisco i is a single policy control point for entire enterprise wire and wireless technology you can control your entire enterprise wire or wireless technology through cisco ice so it's a centralized management system as a centralized secure policy platform So Cisco has ensured that network administrator implement best network security policy. You can use Cisco Ice as a triple A server as well. Authentication, authorization, and accounting. We will discuss this later in the course. Also, you can use Cisco Ice for posturing. We will discuss posturing later as well. You can use Cisco Ice for posturing and policy compliance to check the health of the host. So posturing, checking health of the endpoint like antivirus, latest service pack, and operating system. So 
whenever somebody is entering your network through LAN, either through wire, either through VPN, they need to provide COVID-19 test that are you clean or not to enter our country. Like nowadays, UK people cannot go to other countries. They need to provide their negative result. So posture means Cisco eyes will check the health. It's up to you which posture you want to implement. Like to check antiviruses up to date or not. Window operating system is up to date or not. Latest service pack is installed or not. If you don't have this, they will deny you and they will put you in a VLAN which is good for nothing. It's up to you. You can deny them straight away. Either you can give them uh, a visitor VLAN, either a guest VLAN. This is called posture. So you can achieve this also through Cisco eyes to check the health of the system or the host who is entering your system. It is clean or not. Also Cisco eyes provide you profiling. We will discuss profiling as well. Profile means it will provide all the information about the endpoint about the host which operating system has which uh, service pack he is and blah 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 all the detail it is a apple either is a window base is a linux space whatever so in this way you can identify in your network how many system you have and which window is installed how many application they have linux operating system and so on so for audit purpose, profile can help you as well. And also to implement a policy, profile can help you. Suppose you say that I want to implement a policy on window operating system only. So profile can help you. So it means profile and Cisco eyes will provide you all the detail related to host. So profiling service identify, locate and ensure access of all endpoint connected to your network. So this is Cisco eyes, which can do a lot of things. Guest access, profiler, posture, these two I just told you and shortcut. Mexic encryption, security group access, identity based firewall and so many other things can be done through Cisco eyes. And I give you this example. Who are you? Are you healthy? Where can you go? What service level do you receive? And what are you doing? So they will do all these things. So who are you need to prove? You need to put any method, username, password and whatever. So when you put username and password, then Cisco eyes will check you. Are you healthy? I need to check your window operating system. I need to check your antivirus is enable or disable. So when everything is okay, then they will say, where can you go? Based on your authentication, you are only allowed to this VLAN only. And what service level do you receive? Which services? Maybe they provide you quality of services or something. And what you can do. And whatever you are doing, it will be track. It will be record. And also Cisco can provide you these things as well. Cisco eyes. So I told you about who, what, how and all these things. which I issue a Cisco IS administrator can get real time contextual data include user group who, device type, access time, access location, access type and network thread and vulnerability through Cisco IS, which we call them who, what, when, where, how. Now there are some features, some feature, not all features, Cisco IS can provide you many things. Device administration. You can use Cisco eyes for device administration. Suppose if in your organization there are 500 router and switches and you have many administrator and many 
नेटवर्क एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर हेल्प डेस्क सिक्योरिटी एडमन एंड सो मेनी अदर सो वट यू विल डू फाइव हंड्रेड राउटर यू हैव टू मैनुअली क्रिएट यूजर या दिस द थिंग विच वी कैन डू सो वेन यू वन यूजर लेफ्ट द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यू हैव टू गो टू एवरी फाइव हंड्रेड डिवाइस टू रिमूव दैम विच इज अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट टास्क is there any way to control all 500 cisco router and switches firewall from a single point where we i create one user and they can access all the device automatically yes this is called device administration we will create user only in cisco is either an active directory which will be integrated to the cisco is and you can put restriction on every user read only read write only minimum permission like a help desk like a it support and network administrator full secure full control we will do one lab of this one then you will get the idea this is called device administration which can be achieved through cisco is from a centralized location to give full access either show command only either only privilege mode either only give some command this can be done through device administration this is one of the best feature of cisco is another feature is guest and secure wireless you can create a guest separate from your network secure network access for visitor contractor consultants customers you can give them a mobile portal on board guest they will just register themselves and they will get a token for 1 hour 2 hour either a separate vlan whatever you can do all these thing through cisco is to isolate your network using guest and secure wireless bring your own devices byod cisco is allowed you that employee and guest can bring their own devices their ipad ipod their and drive their mac their window their laptop their desktop whatever they can connect to the network and they can bring your own devices so there is a method in cisco is which we call it bring your own devices and connect to the network securely this is another feature of cisco is access visibility you can see all the visibility through cisco is through wireless wire and vpn you can see who is connected your network from where he is connected through which method he is connected so this is also possible access visibility secure wire wire access cisco is can also provide you a secure way to connect to your network one of the method is dot one x we call them shortcut and dot one x 802 dot one x through redis through web authentication through web based authentication through easy connect through external agent through vpn you can use many method to connect to the network through web web especially for printer and fax machine where you cannot put your username and password and also for voice or ip phone then there is a dot one x method for bring your own devices you can use web authentication method as well so they have many solution for secure wire access to connect to your network and it will be authenticated properly segmentation contextual data they can segment so divide and group and access control list access protocol policy authorization access authentication all these thing can be happen through cisco is and also they can provide use segmentation with security group tags so you can achieve this one also through cisco is posture and compliance which i already told you cisco is allow you to check and compliance the end point when they connect to your network to check them before they connect to your network 
they will check the policy whatever policy you apply them like maybe antivirus update when do is updated or not so you can do posturing and compliance as well and threat containment as well if they detect any vulnerability any threat from the end point so they will dynamically change the access level of end point they will put them in a guest vlan maybe they will put them in any other vlan where they don't have a full access to your network you can achieve this one as well through cisco is automatically if they found any thread and vulnerability the device which is connected to your network security integration as well you can integrate cisco is with any external devices as well any third party vendor any other thing so it's also possible through cisco is so this was introduction to cisco is that what is cisco is and some feature of cisco is which we discussed